Hey everyone, welcome back. This is DHTV. If you've never seen my videos, I do tech videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you're into that, definitely check out my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to correct some of the most common errors you might get with your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Let's get started. So one of the most common problems I run into with my iPhone is that the connection is not solid. Sometimes I'll lose connection even though it shows that it's connected to Wi-Fi, 3G, or LTE. So the best way I found to fix this is to open up your settings application, turn on airplane mode, give it a few seconds, swipe to turn it back off, and then let it reset itself and you should be back and have connection again. Another error that I've run into as well as got a lot of questions on is the invalid SIM card problem and that'll pop up where your carrier is supposed to be. This happened to me when I was updating to iOS 5 and basically what you do is go into your settings application once again, go to general, then scroll all the way to the bottom and tap on reset. Now in this section here you can reset your network settings. If you tap on that it'll reset the network, it'll also reset your phone and when it comes back on you should have your carrier logo. Now the next problem that a lot of people have is that personal hot spot either disappeared or it says contact carrier or something like that. Mine disappeared once and I did manage to get it back using a few steps. Now I will link you in the description down below to that video. It'll show you exactly all the different methods that you can try to fix that and get a personal hotspot back. But if yours says contact carrier, unfortunately this means you have to contact your carrier and I think you have to pay for it. I do know that a lot of carriers charge for that service. Unfortunately that's what you got to do. But definitely check that video down below in the description for the full tutorial on how to fix personal hotspot if it disappeared. Another issue that comes up a lot is the frozen iPhone or frozen iPad, whatever you're using. This happens a lot depending on what you're doing, especially if you have a jailbroken one. Uh, this could happen. Now as a last resort, you can do a hard reset, which is basically pressing the home button and the power button down at the same time. And once the iPhone does power down, you want to wait for the Apple logo to appear. Once it does, release and then it'll restart your iPhone and it'll fix the frozen problem that you had. Another problem that people run into is that the home button breaks on their iPhone. It no longer becomes responsive. If that happens, go to the general tab of your applications, scroll down to accessibility. You then want to scroll down to where it says assistive touch and then you want to turn that on. A little box will appear. And basically you can put this box wherever you want on your iPhone and it becomes a digital home button or a digital settings button here. If we tap on it, you see I get a bunch of settings here. I did a full tutorial on this. Again, I'll link you in the description if you want to learn more about assistive touch, but there's your home button. So if I uh, tap that, let's go into an application so you can see that it does work and we tap home, it takes me home, and you see there's other features you can use within it as well. But that's how you fix, or at least temporarily fix, and get the home button back since uh, it does cost quite a bit if you have to bring it to Apple to get it fixed. Anyway guys, I'd like to know what errors you've run into and what fixes you've used. If you have any problems or any errors, feel free to leave them in the comment box down below or click on the discussion tab in my channel and let me know if you have any questions or errors or whatever and I'll definitely look into it and get you an answer and a fix for your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch or Android device. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe and I will see you in the next one.